Hello students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Imran Khatri here. Uh, today we will cover exotary course part 2. We will cover four insect orders in today's lecture. Exotary course traditionally was divided into two infra classes, Paleoptera and Neoptera. Now today we will cover Neoptera uh, super order exotary course and we will discuss only four insect orders. In this chart you can see the first three are extinct no more in the world and the uh, fourth one uh, Plecoptera stoneflies, Ambioptera web spiners, Zooptera angel insects and Dermoptera earwigs. So these four insect orders we're going to cover in today's lecture. The rest we will cover in any other lecture. The Plecoptera are an order of insects commonly known as stone flies. Some 3500 species are described worldwide. With new species still being discovered, stone flies are found worldwide except Antarctica. Stone flies are believed to be one of the most primitive groups of Neoptera. All the species of Lycoptera are intolerant of water pollution and their presence in a stream or still water is usually an indicator of good or excellent water quality. They cannot tolerate polluted water. The name Plecoptera literally means braided wings from the ancient green plican to braid and tarex means to wings. Stone flies are generally not strong flyers and some species are entirely wingless. The nymphs, technically we call nails, are aquatic and live in the benthic zone of well oxygenated lakes and streams. The nymphs physically resemble wingless adults, but often have external gills which may be present on almost any part of the body. Most species are herbivorous as nymphs feeding on submerged leaves and benthic algae, but many are hunters of aquatic arthropods. Now some common characteristics of Plecoptera, stoneflies, wings present, common name, stoneflies, mouth parts, chewing, now distinctive feature, two long sarsai. Here you can see here. And the habitat terrestrial and aquatic. Now this is the second order, Ambioptera. It covers the web spiners. Ambioptera, lively wings, comes from the Greek ambios means lively and teron means wings. The common name web spiners comes from the insect unique tarsi on their front legs which produce multiple strands of silk. They use the silk to make web-like galleries in which they live. You will see this in video. The order and Biopter, commonly known as web spiners or foot spinners, 
or a small group of mostly tropical and subtropical insects, more than 400 species in 11 families have been described, the oldest known fossils of the group being from the mid-Jurassic. Species are very similar in appearance, having long, flexible bodies, short legs, and only males have wings. Web spiders are gregarious, they live in groups, living subsocially in galleries of fine silk which they spin from glands on their four legs. Early entomologists considered the web spiders to be a group within the termites or neuropterans. The currently most widely accepted ordinal name is Ambioptera suggested by author Shipley in 1904. Now common characteristics of Amyoptera web spiners, wings present, common name web spiners, mouth parts chewing, distinctive feature tarsi of four legs enlarged for spinning silk. You see here, uh, this is the, uh, 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 we have given the enlarged tarsi which is present that secretes the silk and they make their webs and galleries to protect themselves from the environmental conditions. Their habitat is terrestrial and semi-aquatic. Zoroptera, order Zoroptera, the name given by Philip Postelistri in 1930 is misnamed and potentially misleading. Zor is a Greek for pure and aptera means wingless, pure wingless insects, clearly does not fit the winged allied forms which were discovered several years after the wingless forms had been described. Clear. Uh, the Zoropterans, uh, commonly called as angel insects or less appropriately swine lies, are one of the smallest insect orders with only 35 living species and 10 more known from fossils. Zoropterans are rarely observed Indeed, many entomologists have never seen them alive. Me too. There is a single family, Zorotypidae, and only two genera, Zorotypus and the fossil genus Xenozorotypus from the Middle Cretaceous period. They are small and soft-bodied insects with two forms. Remember, they have two forms. One is winged with wings shadable as in termites, dark with eyes, they have compound eyes, and ocelli. 
Now another form is wingless form which is without eyes or ocelli and pale in color. They have a characteristics of nine segmented beaded moniliform antennae you can see in picture. They have mouth parts adopted for chewing and are mostly found under bark, dry wood or in leaf litter. The members of this order are small insects, 3 mm in size or less in length that resemble termites in appearance and in their gregarious behavior. They live in groups. They have antennae with nine segments and abdomen is 11 segmented. Each species show polymorphism. It means they all are different from each other. Most individuals or the apterous form are morph with no wings, no eyes and no or little pigmentation. Now some common characteristics of Zoroptera, angel insects, wings present, common name Zoropteran, mouth parts chewing, distinctive feature small insects with long bead like antennae. You see here they have bead like antennae. This is their distinctive feature. Now habitat, they can be found on terrestrial and semi-aquatic habitats. Now the last order, Dermoptera earwigs. It doesn't have to do with the ear as uh, people usually think about that. They uh, insert into the ear. It is not like that. Earwigs make up the insect order Dermoptera with about 2,000 species in 12 families. They are one of the smaller insect orders. Earwigs have characteristics of sarsai, a pair of forceps like pincers on their abdomen and membranous wings folded underneath short, rarely used for wings, hence the scientific order name skin wings. Some groups are tiny parasites on mammals and lack the typical pincers. Earwigs are found on all continents except Antarctica. Earwigs are mostly nocturnal, means they are active at night and often hide in small, moist crevices during the day and are active at night, feeding on wide variety of insects and plants, damage to foliage, flowers and various crops in commonly blend on earwigs, especially the species Forficula auricularia. Earwigs have five moles in the year before they become adults. Many earwig species display maternal care. They care for young one, which is uncommon among insects. Female earwigs may care for their eggs and even after they have hatched as nymphs will continue to watch over offspring until their second mold. As the nymph molds, sexual dimorphism such as differences in pincer shafts begins to show. Now some common characteristics of uh, Dermoptera Earwig, wings present but short, common name earwig, mouth parts chewing, distinctive features, forceps at the end of abdomen you can see very clearly here, here you can see here. Now habitats terrestrial.
Thank you so much for watching this video.